data center interconnects have historically been very difficult to create because of the nature of layer two traffic and the limited capability to control and steer traffic. With selections from a few guided setup workflows, Aruba Fabric Composer simplifies and automates configuration of essential control plane components to establish layer two and three connectivity. In this demo, we show how to easily build a BGP EVPN control plane overlay without requiring in-depth knowledge of EVPN or its integration into the underlay. We'll first start with establishing the BGP overlay control plane. Select the underlay overlay guided setup workflow, then select the actions drop-down menu and select add. The workflow begins with the AS number setup. There are two options, dual ASN and multi ASN. With the dual ASN option, all leaf switches are part of one ASN group, and all spine switches are part of a separate group. With the multi ASN option, all leaf and spine switches have their own unique ASN. For this demo, we'll select dual ASN. In the IP network address step, we enter the IP sub network range to enable BGP peering sessions between switches. In the settings step, we'll keep Aruba default best practices. In the summary step, we verify our selections and select apply. At this point, you can see that we have established the BGP overlay control plane, including the dual ASN types, the two ASN numbers for the spines and leaf switches, and the network range we provided. From the BGP screen, we verify that all six switches have BGP correctly configured. Our next step is to create the EVPN. We'll use the EVPN configuration workflow. This workflow bulk creates EVPN to VLAN mappings on all the leaf switches. Create a name for this EVPN workflow. In the VNI mapping step, we specify the VLANs that we want to extend. We input the VLAN numbers and the base L2 VNI number. Aruba Fabric Composer will add the base L2 VNI to the VLAN and create a mapping between them for us. In the settings step, we will use the example number for the route target, but we won't change the MAC address for the VSX pairs. On the summary page, we review and confirm all settings, then select apply. On the EVPN screen, we verify that the VLAN to L2 VNI mappings have been correctly configured. Here you can view automatically provisioned values such as route distinguisher and import targets required for BGP. The final step is to create distributed gateways that will optimize L3 routing. We navigate to the VRF screen and select the IP interfaces option from the drop-down menu. Then select actions and add to start the workflow. We will select distributed SVI from the list of types as our fabric has multiple leaf pairs. Then we input the VLAN numbers that we included as part of the EVPN workflow. The IP subnet range address services the distributed SVIs. The distributed active gateway IP address and active gateway MAC address will be uniformly applied to all EVPN leaf switches. Inputting the switch address is essential as a unique IP address is required for each switch. Next, optionally enter a name and description. On the summary screen, we review the information, then select apply. As you can see, Aruba Fabric Composer has created distributed SVIs, one for each of the switches. We can repeat this step for any other SVIs needed. In a few simple steps, Aruba Fabric Composer's guided set of workflows have eliminated complexities to orchestrate layer two, three, network connectivity, and communications.